All right, guys, it is day 23. We are so close to the very last week of this challenge. And today was my hardest one yet. Not so much the drawing, just, you know, having the motivation to do it. This house is haunted by a very hungry monster and I don't think the house stands much of a chance against that big mouth. So I woke up late today and when I wake up late, I always feel like the day's been wasted. So I just waste the rest of it. I spent hours in bed window shopping for a chest of drawers online, trying to think of ways I could change my room around a bit since it's starting to feel a bit, I don't know. I just want a change in here. I love decorating and planning a new project, taking measurements and stuff. And I just want to love my space again. So by five in the evening, I still haven't drawn anything. And this is why I've liked pre-recording videos when I can, because I knew I'd have days like this, because I always have days like this. I was lucky this time because I'm already so far into the challenge. If I'd hit this kind of hurdle on day two, it's very likely that I would have given up on the whole month. But I've done so much, I've got a 22 day video streak going on and I had no more pre-recorded videos. I've had comments here and there saying that if I'm struggling, it's fine for me to miss a day and catch up and I appreciate that, but it's really a last resort for me. This challenge is for me to treat art as work because it's my job and sometimes I'm gonna have no choice. I don't like the thought of calling in sick when I'm not actually sick, but I also do know the importance of taking a break to recover physically and mentally. I'm trying to teach myself this month that I can work hard and I can push myself out of a zone that I feel comfortable in. And at the end of the day, if I know I'll feel worse for not doing it, than I will if I make myself do it, then I need to learn how to get past the procrastination. So I followed the same kind of steps from my not in the mood to draw video and also some from my creative rut video I did a while ago. I let myself lay in bed all day with the constant thought in my mind that I was going to have to do this at some point in my day. I reminded myself that it would only take like half an hour or an hour tops and that once I did it I could stop thinking about it and just crawl back into bed and get back on the IKEA website. Without letting myself think too much about the whole process, definitely not thinking about editing and uploading the video, I just started out by getting my sketchbook, sketching out a house in the comfort of my bed, and then I took my sketchbook to my desk and got my pen, set up my camera, all things that have become like muscle memory over the last few weeks. I didn't actually prepare any ink washes just because that felt like too much effort at the time, so I just turned on the camera and started drawing. Once the drawing was done, the only next logical step was to get my ink sorted, and that took way less effort than I'd expected. I didn't even have to move from my seat. In the meantime, the drawing wasn't turning out exactly as I hoped. I had some issues with my ink running and spreading, and at the end I even dropped my brush, freshly loaded with black ink, onto my almost finished drawing, but I just kind of focused on carrying on, made that smudge of ink work by adding more smudges of ink, um, just as kind of like flying debris. I had some cheesy music on, um, some blue and Disney, so I just sang along for a bit and tried to enjoy the nostalgia of it. And when I finished this drawing, I actually jumped straight into recording the next one while I had the momentum going, just in case I don't feel up to it tomorrow. I'm tired now, but I'm glad I did it and I knew that I would do it. You don't have to worry about me pushing myself too hard. If I have to take a day off, I will respect my mind and my body and I will take a day off. But I knew in the back of my mind that I had it in me today and I knew if I didn't do it, I'd regret it. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all your kind comments and for being part of this community. I love the interaction with you all and if it wasn't for you, I really wouldn't have got this far. I'm gonna have such a good sleep tonight and I will see you tomorrow for the next one. Bye.